Hey, how you doing? I want to quick put a video on how to mount a DSLR to a telescope. I'm running a Celestron Nexstar 130 SLT telescope. It's a, I believe it's a five inch. They're uh, not very expensive and they do work, do work pretty well. And I purchased a T adapter mounting system to adapt my Nikon D5100 to the telescope and there's two ways you can do that number one you can run it prime with this uh, included piece that it came with or you can do the mounting where you can actually use your telescopes 1.25 inch uh, eyepieces now to, to get started you're gonna have to uh, take this piece here which is the actual T adapter to mount this kit to your camera and it mounts on just like any any regular lens would locks in place now this camera only running manual with this on otherwise it's saying it won't read a lens but when you have that on that's where you got your two options one you can run it prime with this little piece on here that takes the place of your standard eyepiece on your for your telescope and or you can run it with this to where you put your actual eyepiece in there and you can adjust for zoom and whatnot and bring in like a 25 millimeter or 12 and a half millimeter you know for zooming in actually quite a ways which I will be showing you here soon with some video of that but we'll move on up to the telescope itself the mounting system for the lens and just this is a typical you know normal mounting system on a lens you got your your eyepiece and as far as the what that the holder is for the eyepiece generally these come like this where you can take this one piece and unscrew it to mount it with the one setup but if you're going to do the prime you're going to want to just basically leave it like that pull your your eyepiece you got in there out and screw this adapter onto the end of the T-mount and that's going to drop right in to the telescope and you're going to run it run it prime from what they call it now the other option is is we're not going to use this little adapter for the take the place of the eyepiece and we're going to do is screw on this larger piece like I said this all came as a a kit off eBay is probably sixty dollars you're going to take this outer piece screw that onto the end of the T adapter on your camera make sure it's good and snug and now back up to the eyepiece on the telescope you're going to leave that one piece in there and basically just take off this for the 1.25 inch mount out of there next up is you're going to take this this other smaller tube that you you get with a kit and that what this is here is enables you to drop in your any eyepiece that you have as long as it's 1.25 inch down inside it as you can see then there's a tightening screw you can run for adjustment i like to run it all the way up it helps with the magnification it changes that a little and also focus now that's just going to basically screw right on the end of the scope and then you're going to take your camera and that's just going to slide right over the top of it and that's your setup where you can put whatever eyepieces you in and increase or decrease your magnification and whatnot. So let's go outside and do a little test on for the zoom and just how well you can see with this thing. And hopefully at some point in time I can get some shots of the moon in that and put a video on on that. All right, that uh, fire number, like I said, is 300 yards out. This is roughly what the unaided eye's view looks like looking towards that fire number. Now let's switch over to the camera inside the telescope with that 25 millimeter eyepiece. There's that 
fire number that's approximately 300 yards away is what we were just looking at but that's what a 25 millimeter eyepiece I'm gonna throw in one more and see how close we can get as you notice just a little bit of wind will, will move the camera all right right here you're I'm using a 12 and a half millimeter eyepiece and that's again over 300 yards away with that that uh fire sign there and winds blowing a little bit so of course it's moving the tripod now we'll focus on a silo on that barn that's about a little over a half a mile away here's that farm with that silo and barn with that 25 millimeter eyepiece and you're talking well over a half a mile away